Hello everyone and welcome back to this week's J-Rock video and this is the next video in the series of transforming your lawn right so today so far what we've done is we've killed off the lawn have you seen in the pre previous video so that's been fully killed it's been about four weeks now this has been good to go for about a week and a half but it's just when I've been able to get around to it since then we've also aerated the lawn so this can be done either before or afterwards when you're scarifying it just so happens when we had the aerator on higher so it's already been aerated and this is the footage right here. So now that the lawn's been aerated, we are good to go for this renovation. So this is going to entail scarifying, overseeding, putting fertiliser down and top dressing the lawn. And that is what we're going to be doing today. The kit that we're going to be using, I'm going to show down, all the links are going to be down at the bottom to where you can find that kit and equipment. I just want to say a special thanks to Total Lawn for sponsoring this video and sending me out all the fertilisers, seeds and all the rest of it to be able to get this complete. Right, so for this renovation here, these are what we're going to be using. So I've got my lawn levelling loot here, what is by Raisin Rake. Great thing with this is that it's got these adapters here. So it'll fit straight in that Wolf Garden 2 meter extendable pool. So the link for all these, like I say, will be down below in the description. So they kindly sent that through for me to use it on today's reno. I've got my two spreaders, what is a Scots and an Evergreen. The hand spreader will get used for the pre-seed fruit and the things like the Scots will get used for the seeding. What I'm actually going to use on this one, instead of using compost, it's going to be just some Westland topsoil. I found this always to be really good. It's weed free, it's screened and, you know, it's really workable as well. So I've got nine bags of that to spread through the entire lawn. The wee bang I am using as well to scarify it. So all I'm going to be doing is ripping up any of this dead grass that I can. First time ever, really. I think maybe second, in fact, I'm using the bagger. And that's just because the lawn that I have is only 45 metres squared-ish. So by that, I'm just going to minimise the waste as much as possible, as in the clear up, and catch it as much as I can. And what I'm going to be using for today is both the Total Lawn Luxury Lawn Seed. This is fantastic. The mix here is used on something like, it's around 60 to 70% of Premier League football turfs, okay, on their pitches, this sort of grass blend. So Luxury Lawn Seed by Total Lawn, they sent that through. So I'm going to be using two kilograms. Remember, the overseeding rate for these and the fresh sow rate is completely different. If you just looked on the back here, it says it's 25 grams per meter squared, what you'd use if you're just overseeding, whereas I'm closer to putting a whole new lawn in, so 50 grams per meter squared. And I'll also be putting down some pre-seed fertilizer as well. And this is the lawn here behind me, so as you can see, completely bound bread, dead as it goes. So we're gonna be completely scarifying this out. We have got some bits that are still growing here on the very edges, just where I've been a bit bit shaky with the spray. It's more wrong where the plants are, but it's all good grass, so I'm not too fussed. But everywhere else, it is completely killed off. The fog grass, that was the main problem, took about an extra week and a half to die off than what the rest of the normal grass did. So just bear that in mind. If it's still looking alive, leave it a bit longer. Anyways, without talking too much, we're gonna just get into it and get some footage.
Right then, so now what you can see from that is I have scarified everything that I can basically <clears throat> get out. Apologies. So everything that I can kind of get out that's loose with the scarifier. So all this stuff that's left back, I'm just going to scalp it with the mower here. And then anything else will either just die down. It's not going to create loads of thatch simply because of how often I scarify normally in the season. But it's just going to leave that base level. You can see the dips as always over here. There's one over here and one down this third side and they're just harder to get out so that's why you see me go got it with this little hand manual scarifier here what is just some blades on the end of the, end of the pole there just like a normal rake but it's just easier to scarify out so from this point here i'm just going to mow it and that will be on a top dressing seeding and fertilizing That's it scalped with the rotary and the height, you know, there's still quite a few little tufts up there. If you're happy with that, now this is normally the time where you'd start aerating. So you'd aerate now while everything's down, all the thatch is out, all the moss is gone. But because of time, like I say, I had to aerate prior. I'm going to now go over it with the cylinder mower and sculpt it even further. And that should just get it to a, to a closer finish where I want it. And I'll be able to see them curves that little bit more. So that's what I'm going to be on to next. This is the reason why I've only done that because I've just got so much out of there that would have just been left in if I left it at that height. So if you have the chance to go with a cylinder mower and you're completely redoing your lawn, then it's so worth going as low as you physically can. And in this case, it was with the cylinder mower. At this point, my head, you could also rotivate. So with what's left here, it's not going to harm or cause any problems with this being mixed in. So you could rotivate the whole area completely, turn it up, completely level it. But I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to add some more topsoil to it them certain areas really spread it through and then put down the seed and the fertilizer What I'm doing at this stage here is I've decided to go for the big landscaping rake to begin with. This is just because it's a hell of a lot easier to sort of knock down these piles and roughly even it out before I then go over with the lawn loot. So I'll go over the whole area with this landscape rake before then using the lawn loot to just finish it off. So usually when we're at this point and I'm applying any form of top dressing, whether it's compost, topsoil whatever it may be I usually put down the seed first and then the dressing afterwards in this case because I've killed off the whole lawn I'm sorting out the soil first and then doing the seed this is going to help me fill in any sort of lowish areas any uneven bumps and just basically let me make a good soil bed for the seed you'll see very shortly from this point and doing it in this method I'll then mix it in with a rake afterwards So the benefit of using this lawn loot and not just the rake is the lawn loot helps level the area. So this happens by the little gaps in, the, in this loot here. And what it'll do is it'll drag the material so that it falls into any of the lower spots. And it'll then resurface it and sort of level it off as you keep on going forward. This is a really beneficial, beneficial tool if you're trying to get a more even lawn. So 
now that we have the ground prepped, like now, everything's sort of leveled out as best I physically can without adding too much. Hello cat. Uh, all we're going to do is add some of this luxury lawn seed by Total Lawn. Add that in there, so we've got 2 kilograms for 45 ish meter squared, so it is, and that should be enough to give this lawn sort of a start from scratch. Uh, yeah, whereas other seed would be a little bit less than that, roughly around 25 meter squared, so sorry, 25 grams per meter squared, or be roughly half the rate. So, getting the cat in there. So, yeah, we're gonna go through that now. This is sort of the main point that we want to get down. We want to get all the seed down, spread nice and even throughout this lawn, and then start getting it sort of mixed in there. One thing you might notice here is that I'm going several different directions. And I'm doing this because you basically want a nice even spread across the lawn. What I'm also doing is then spreading it by hand close to the very edge where I can't get with a spreader. Just as just trying to ensure that I get full germination across all areas of the lawn. My next step is now just to sort of rake it over like I'm doing here. And all that's going to do is just mix some of the seed so it goes below the soil surface and it works as a top dressing. Anytime I'm doing this normally, like I think I've said, is I would normally put down the seed and then the, the dressing material, whatever it may be. In this case, because I've been leveling the area out, I want to do it this way just to try and ensure that the seed is close at the top rather than an inch below in some places. So you can do it either way, but what I would recommend is that you somehow knock the seeds over as I'm doing here. You can see the soil kind of getting turned up and that just means that it's going to save some coverage and hide some from the birds. Right then, so our seed is down there. We are one step closer to being done. Next is pre-seed fertilizer. So like I say, I'm using this Total Lawns pre-seed fer uh, formula fertilizer here. And this is fantastic stuff. It's fast and slow release, so it lasts up to sort of 90 days. So this is gonna give it an initial boost to get it going. To spread it, I'm gonna be using this little evergreen spreader. I find that setting three how well you can see that, is the best setting to sort of put this on. It gives you a nice even distribution. If you're going for like a lesser, smaller amount so you can do more passes and have that more even spread, then it's set in two. Anything more than that, on this type of fertilizer where it's so small, it'll kick out far too much, and one really doesn't kick out much at all. So I'm gonna get cracking with that. Next then what you want to do is either heal it in or you can use some form of roller just to get that soil seed connection and it's just going to help germinate better. So you can either do your little penguin feet, feet together and you're just going to go nice and slowly with the heels and just basically compress that soil and seed together. Myself, I'm just going to not engage the blade on this stuff a punch and I'm just going to use that rear roller and front roller I suppose just to nicely sort of compress it in there. Right then, and that is us there, that's just done. Basically by this point here, a few things to sort of pick up on. That was probably the worst bag of Westland's topsoil that I've ever had. It had loads of these little sort of stones in, and just before it's been really screened. This one, it wasn't too bad, but you know, definitely around there, around 10, maybe 15 mil. So the first cut I'll probably do on this is gonna have to be a rotary, just to see if I can pull any of them up. But other than that, this is how it goes. The only advice from now sort of onwards is watering. Watering is such a key thing. Like all this hard work, everything you do to get it to this point, there's a little robin over there just as I'm speaking. Um, yeah, everything that you do to this point, the only way for it to fully germinate and come through now, if you water the lawn, I've done this to lawns personally, and then the client has not watered it at all, or maybe a few times a week, and it's just been a savage response in germination. And then equally, lawns that have been really bad, 
and the client's been all over it, walking at least three times a day for the first two weeks and they've came up absolutely gorgeous. So from here, that's all we've got left to do is water the lawn and I would advise doing that first thing in the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening for at least two to three weeks. Then from there you can kind of ease off a bit and just play it with the weather. But thank you very much for joining us there. Just a big shout out to all those that have kind of helped bring this video together. What's well, Total Lawn. All these affiliate links are down below in the uh, description. Total Lawn for the pre-seed fertiliser, for the summer fertiliser for going forward and for the luxury lawn seed. Fantastic stuff. You've got Raisin Rake that gives you that lawn look with all the different attachments. Fantastic as well. And I'm just looking around here. I think that's about it for this video. So if I forget any, then I'll put them in the description. But just thank you for everyone. Um, Total Lawn being the sponsors is a big one though. But yeah, thank you very much. Any questions at all, let me know. Anything past that, then please just like, comment and subscribe. It helps more than you ever know. So anyway, take care and we'll do an update in about two weeks time or when we see germination. All the best. <laughs>